Hello, and welcome to Arnold Mills United Methodist Church's video series entitled Pray Always, Pray Always. We're exploring different forms of Christian prayer that can help to enrich our spiritual lives. You know, God has blessed us with a diversity of personalities and spiritual types, and so there's no one-size-fits-all way to pray. This video series is an opportunity to expand our repertoire of prayer practices and to discover what prayer types are best for each of us. And it seems to me that as the COVID-19 crisis continues to drag on, it's more important than ever to cultivate a spiritual life, a prayer life that brings us into deeper communion with God, uh, that enables us to feel God's love, to rest in God's peace, and to find strength in God's presence. Today we're taking a look at something called Ignatian meditation, or sometimes referred to as imaginative prayer. In his spiritual exercises, Ignatius of Loyola described a prayer form in which you use your senses in an imaginative way to explore a passage of scripture. In fact, imaginative prayer is one of the hallmarks of Ignatian spirituality. In this form of prayer, you place yourself within an action story as an onlooker and a participant, and you let your imagination run free. Through the use of your senses, seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling, you make room in your mind for a biblical scene to come to life. You become part of the story, part of the action. So to, to try out this form of exercise, this uh, prayer, prayer form, I would invite you to, to go to your prayer space, your special prayer space if you have one. If not, just someplace that's quiet and comfortable. Settle yourself, maybe breathe slowly and deeply. Let go of any tension that you're holding in your body. Do whatever helps you to get centered and ready to pray. Relax into God's presence and ask God to give you the grace to, to see what God has for you this day. Choose a passage of scripture um, in which Jesus or some other character is interacting with others. For instance, um, you might choose the healing of the blind man named Bartimaeus in the Gospel of Mark. It's uh, chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. You would slowly read the passage over two or three times just to make sure that you've got all the details in your mind uh, as you go into your time of prayer. And then you, you close your eyes and you allow yourself to visualize the scene. What do you see? What does Bartimaeus look like? Is he young? Is he old? Is he sitting, standing, kneeling? Does he have his hands out begging? What's he wearing? What does the crowd that's following behind Jesus look like? How many of them are there? Do they look angry when they're telling Bartimaeus to be quiet, and to stop yelling for Jesus? What do Jesus' uh, facial expressions convey? Are his eyes soft? Are they, are they sharply focused? Does he look annoyed? Does he look as though he's feeling pity for Bartimaeus? What does the road look like? Is it bumpy or smooth? Is it dusty or muddy? Is the road in the middle of a village or sort of secluded? Take the time to let that visual image develop in your mind. Then listen to the sounds around you. Do you hear eagerness in Bartimaeus's voice? Desperation? Um, what about the voices of the bystanders? Is the whole crowd murmuring? Or are there just a few of them who are telling Bartimaeus to be quiet? What does Jesus' voice sound like? What emotions does it convey? Can you hear people's 
feet scuffing in the sand? Or can you hear Bartimaeus's footfall as he runs to Jesus? Imagine what taste you might associate with the scene. Does the dust from the road stick to your lips? Maybe you stop to take a drink of water or a sip of wine or to eat some bread or perhaps a, a date or a fig. What does that taste like? What, what, what can you feel? It, do, do you feel the sun beating down on you, the heat on your shoulders? Maybe your clothes, clothing feels scratchy on your skin, sweat rolling down your face, grit in your sandals. Uh, maybe you've got to feel a coin in between your fingers that you're thinking about tossing to Bartimaeus. What can you smell? Can you smell the warm dust in the road? Perspiration? Maybe there are some animals nearby that you can smell. Let your senses wander. Allow yourself to imagine what words Jesus would have said in addition to what's written in Scripture. What else might he have said? What else might he have done? Linger for a while and interact with some of the characters. Once you've finished exploring the scene completely, engage in dialogue with Jesus. What does he say to you? Is there something that you want to ask him about? Is there something you ask him for? What What's that conversation like? Remember that the purpose of this exercise isn't just to think about Jesus, it's to experience him, to meet him, at least in your imagination. When you're finished, take some time to reflect on the experience of that prayer. Think about the insights that that prayer has provided you and perhaps write write them down in a journal. When you're finished, um, give thanks to God for this time of prayer and um, carry uh, those insights with you as you go. Although Ignatian prayer uh, focuses traditionally on stories about Jesus, you can use any biblical story and engage in dialogue with any uh, of the characters in that story. Imaginative prayer helps us to make the stories of the Bible our stories. It helps us to better hear what God is saying to us today through the ancient words of Scripture, words that were written millennia ago. I hope that you'll um, explore Ignatian meditation. As always, feel free to send me your your thoughts, your responses, your questions, or your suggestions. You can email me at pastor.amumc at gmail.com. By God's grace, may your prayer practices continually form and transform you.